What is going on, everybody? I hope everybody is enjoying their week. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Blanca Pino, the Apple Guy, and today I am going to show you how you can offload videos and photos from your iPhone or iPad using a what is known as a iExpand flash drive. Now, I made a similar video for something similar to this that you could use, and that was with something like this. This is known as an SD Lightning to SD card reader. Now, what this does is this allows you to actually import photos and videos from a camera to your iPad or iPhone. Now, you can only import. You can't export from an Apple device only to an Apple device. So a lot of people, when I made that video, were a little confused with that. And so I want you to re-clarify that again, that with this, only this, you can only import from an SD card to the Apple device, not vice versa. You can't take from the Apple device and store it on this because it doesn't really do it that way. It's not really made for that. This allows you to actually do that. And I'm gonna show you how to do that on this really quick in this quick tutorial. I'm gonna actually unbox this or I'm gonna actually pop this open, download the app, and then just gonna show you really quick how you can offload videos and stuff to this and then show you it on the app itself. Now, as you can see, this is what it looks like. This is a 64 gig uh, iExpand drive. Now, it should tell you probably somewhere on here, it'll just say iExpand flash drive 3.0 but this is a 64 gig. And as you can see, you simply just can fold that and then this end goes into the iPhone. This end is just a USB port that you can actually plug in to a USB port and then you can also offload that way. So what we're gonna do is from this, as you can see here, it's gonna tell you that you need to download the SanDisk iExpand drive app. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the App Store and we're going to actually download that app for this. Now we're going to open this and then we're gonna see what needs to be done. So obviously it's going to ask you for obviously a few things such as view license. You just basically agree to all of that. Set, privacy is a priority. Agree to share or not agree to share. It doesn't really matter which one you do. Uh, I'm just gonna to agree to share because it's always good to um, ask. Now it's gonna ask you to allow access to your photos. You want to allow all access to it. So I'm just gonna allow all access to this. We'd like to make you access to Apple Music. And so basically this allows you to also download music from this, send you notifications, we're gonna allow that. And then as you can see, it's loading up the app. Now, as you can see, instructions, it's gonna tell me to plug in my iExpand. So take this, again, this is a lightning port right there. That simply plugs into the lightning port on the back of your iPhone. Unless you have the iPhone 12, then you'd be using the USB-C version, which I do not have, but I'll make in a later video. But basically, it's gonna be the same procedure. So we plug that in. Then as you can see, You're connected, take a tour, set up my iExpand. So we're not really gonna take a tour, we're just gonna actually set it up straight here. Turn on auto backup. Now what this means is that every time you plug this in, it will automatically back up whatever you allow it to back up. So we're just gonna automatically turn it on. And then as you can see, it reads you through all of this safe space on your iPhone. All photos and videos taken using this camera are saved directly to the iExpand drive in the camera folder. So as you can see, this does allow you to save all your photos and videos. So we're just gonna tap on that. And then as you can see right now, it's actually backing up four of 808 photos. So what it'll do is it'll continue to download and back that up. And then as you can see here, I can view files as they are done. So right here, as you can see, this is the whole menu. I can copy files, I can view files, back up and restore, do more store. Tap on that, and what that does is it actually brings you to a website where it allows you to obviously download different various other apps and whatnot if you wanted to do that. But I usually don't particularly care much for that, so we're just gonna go right back into the app itself. Hit done. So if I want to view the files that I have, it simply just allows me to view the files. 
And then as you can see right here, as you can see, it's backing up my camera roll backup. I got music, I got photos, I got videos. And then these are the other type of folders that you would have in this. If you were actually going to plug this directly into a computer, then it would allow you to access that if you wanted to. Otherwise, um, your iXpan is organizing the camera backup folders into subbases of the year and month. The photos that were taken, photos will not be created for months that have not no photos. So basically what it does, it's going to arrange all my photos based on the year and the month that they were taken. So as you can see, 2017, 2018, 2019, 28, and 21. Now it's going to actually continue along this line until it gets all of my photos. And that's pretty much it. Basically hit the back button. And as you can see, it is backing up 20 of 808 photos. So give the camera a focus on it. So as you can see, it's backing up 22 of the 808 photos. And then once that is done, then it will simply just show up on here and then that's it. Of course, you wanna make sure that you have a full battery as you never know how much photos you have and how long it might take. You don't want to drain out and then your battery dies in the middle of you transferring your photos. Then you kind of have to go through it all over again. But again, that is how you would use this in that setting. And then when you are done, you can always just hit pause like that. Back up pause. So as you can see, it's paused right there. So I simply just tap on that and then it resumes. And if I'm done, or if I want to pause and continue later on, simply just pause. Then I hit the back button. And then all I have to do is simply just pull this out. And that's it. So I hope this video tutorial was helpful. If it was, give me a thumbs up. As these likes do help me create more content. And I also want to do just a quick shout out that I will be doing a giveaway of a camera and I'm either going to be doing a giveaway of a Panasonic G85 or a Sony ZV-1. I'm not really sure just quite yet, but once I reach 8,000 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway. So if you want to give me a comment down below which one you want to see me do a giveaway for, I will do that once I reach 1,000 subscribers. And I want to thank everybody for watching. And again, my name is Blanket from the Apple Guy. And I hope everybody has a great weekend and I will see you guys in the next video.